Hello my internet friends, Napyet here with a quick guide on how to use different mods with different characters in Skyrim. Everything I'm going to say here can be also applied to the special edition and it should be noted this is a PC specific guide. So let's get started. I decided to do this quick guide because it was a question that was asked by a subscriber and it's a really good question. Often we want to play different types of characters and different mods correspond to different characters so we want to be able to do this and it's not immediately obvious how to do it. The way that I've found to do it that works for me is to use Nexus Mod Manager. If you're not using Nexus Mod Manager to install your mods already with Skyrim I highly rec recommend that you do it. It allows you to maximize load order, figure out conflicts and just makes the process so much easier there are loads of guides online just do a search in youtube on how to get going with nexus mod manager but we're going to start from the position that you've already got nexus mod manager installed so by default this is what you would see once you'd selected all your mods downloaded them and put them into nexus mod manager but if you want then to say create a second character without tame beasts without frostfall without hunterborn then how do you do that? The way you do it is by creating profiles. You come up here and you see that I've called this selection of mods Immersion 1. So we click the drop down there and you create a new profile. I currently have two profiles that I've already created, Immersion 1 and Mod Testing. So let's use the example of the person that asked me this question. Let's say we want to create a character who lives in a city and we only want a couple of mods activated for this character, ones that we feel are appropriate for him. So we would come down here and create new profile. Let's give it a name, city character and click OK. And you see it's already duplicated what's already there, but we are in a different profile now and we switch between profiles by clicking on them here. So I've switched to immersion one, you see, and can switch back to city character. Now for city character, once we've got that selected, we go down here and uncheck all the mods. In this case, we don't need to download any new ones. If you did, you kind of would go through that process and add them to this new profile. But in this case, we've already got our mods here, so we can go through and say, let's take off Morrow Loot, let's take off Skyrim Immersive Creatures, and let's take off Tame Beast. We don't want any of those for this particular profile. It'll automatically save. So now when we switch to Immersion 1, we can see that Tame Beast is selected, Morrowind is selected and immersive creatures are selected. But if we switch to city character, those are now deselected. So you have two profiles with very simply different mods. You know, just one, one profile has three fewer mods than the other profile. So we're ready to create our new character. What we need to make sure of is that city character is selected in Nexus Mod Manager. Dead easy. So every time you fire up your game, you know you want to play the city character. Let's fire up Nexus Mod Manager. Select Skyrim. Is city character selected as a profile? Yes, it is. So let's create our new character in Skyrim. Now this is the little bit in Skyrim that is kind of confusing in that it doesn't really present your save games to you very well. The special edition does this a little bit better. But you'll see I have at this point 328 saves on that main game that I'm playing and you may have many more. So you need to keep an eye on which save game corresponds to which character. That's the only wrinkle. It's just not as streamlined and not as intuitive as it could be. But as you see, you know, Nap Imperial level 46, that's my current character. So you can always see that in the window when you select it. So let's go back, just create a new character. Let's start a new game. Remember, when I click start new game, it, it is loading the city character profile from Nexus Mod Manager. That's the one that we selected. So it's applying that profile to this new character here. Let's just go with the default. We are done. Finish character. And he is YouTube Guide. Click accept. All right, so as usual, you know, if you're familiar with mods, now it goes through a whole configuration thing. Stuff is getting configured behind the scenes and it takes can, can take up to a good few minutes for all that to happen. But once it has happened, it should have auto saved already, but we'll do a hard save, new save. And now when we go to load, we've obviously got the new character, YouTube Guide Nord Level 1. And that character has a different mod profile 
to my main character, which used the the different profile before we changed it in Nexus Mod Manager. So let's try and load that other character that has a different mod profile, and you'll see what you what happens here. This save relies on content that is no longer present. Some objects may no longer be available. Continue loading. Always click no. Right? You don't want to do that. Let's go back to our desktop. If so, we've been, let's assume we've been playing our city character. We've been going around the city. Oh, isn't this great? We've got all our mods, the mods that we want in this character. Oh, I fancy playing my old character, but oh no, I've changed the mods. Well, if we want to go back to the other character, we have to change the mod, the profile that is selected in Nexus Mod Manager. Open it up again, and it's simple as let's switch to immersion, which is the profile that corresponds to that character that I now want to play. You could name all your profiles after the characters. That's a simple way to remember, isn't it? Just do that and you'll be good to go. So now if I load up Skyrim, I've changed the profile to immersion profile. Okay, so now we've got the immersion thing, the immersion profile selected. Let's try and load our YouTube guide Nord level one. So we shouldn't be doing this because we know it's the wrong mod profile for this save game. So that's interesting. It's allowed me to load the game, but we know you, Tame Beasts shouldn't be selected for this profile. You saw in the top left there, Tame Beast configuration added. We don't want that. We don't. That's not the mod that we wanted for this. So as you can see, it's not a hard and fast thing. I didn't get the warning that, that, that time. It let me load, but then it starts to load all the mods that you didn't want because they're coming from a, the wrong profile. So... Whatever the case, whether you load or uh, it doesn't let you load or whether you load and then it adds mods that you didn't want, the end result is the same. We don't want those mods on this particular character. So you're remembering save games. You're remembering which profile corresponds to which character. And in that way, you can have one installation of St Skyrim running, but you can have multiple mod, mod configurations by using the profile option in Nexus Mod Manager. As I said, if you need to get started with Nexus Mod Manager, there are tons of great guides on how to do that. So I'm not going to go over, over that here. I hope that helped you and I hope I've been coherent. If I haven't, ask some questions down below and I'll see, see if I can clarify. If you're a console player and there's a way to do this with PS4 or whatever that I'm unaware of, please feel free to help people in the comments down below. That's one thing on YouTube that I've noticed happens a lot. If there's something I've missed, people add it in the comments. So check the comments. Someone may have answered your question already in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. As I say, I hope it helped you. If you feel like liking and subscribing to my channel, please do so. I do a lot of content around Skyrim at the moment, but I also do other gaming content. Thank you for watching, and I will see you hopefully in the future. Bye, 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 bye. No, no, no.